Good afternoon. This is Fred Oltsharish from Liebenman Futures on Wall Street in New York City. Today we're going to have a discussion about basic options on futures trading, uh, mostly talking about calls and puts. And without further ado, I'd just like to introduce you to our disclaimer that futures and options and commodities trading involve significant risk and is not suitable for every investor. Information obtained from sources believed to be reliable, but is in no way guaranteed. Past results are not indicative of future results. I am Fred Altars, a senior VP here at Liebenman Futures with more than 25 years of commodities exchange for experience as an options market maker and then as head of risk management at New York Board of Trade slash ICE Futures. The first thing we'll be discussing today is what is an option. Then we'll discuss calls and puts and buying calls or buying puts to meet your needs. We'll give you some examples. In future lessons, we'll be discussing advanced options, including pricing, volatility, and grades. But let's begin by saying what is an option? An option is the right to buy or sell an underlying futures contract for a specific price at a certain time in the future. A future contract like crude oil or gold or coffee, all giving the right to take or make delivery of the particular commodity in itself. If you're not that familiar with futures contracts, lesson one goes into it on further detail. So in this case, we're going to deal with an option on a futures contract. It's going to have a strike or a price at which you will either take delivery or make delivery, getting the futures contract at that price or delivering the futures contract at that price. It will have an expiration date, and we were going to either discuss calls or puts. What is a call option? A call option gives you, as the buyer, the right to buy the futures contract at a particular price in the future time. So, for example, if we're dealing with crude oil futures and we buy an $80 call, it gives us the right to buy crude oil at $80 per gallon. Again, that's the right to buy, but not the obligation. So we can use that call as an opportunity to either speculate that the price will go up in, in crude oil, or we can hedge our risk and say that if I'm a gasoline station and crude oil goes up in price, I can protect myself by buying this instrument. So the calls give you either of those things as a buyer. In any event, let's say the crude oil price strike we're looking at is $80 a barrel, and we pay $3 for the right to take delivery of crude oil at $80. Our risk in the transaction is $3 per barrel. If crude oil is trading anywhere above $83 per barrel, you will make money. If not, you will lose money. But the largest loss you can have on this trade is $3, or in the case of crude oil, which is a 1,000-barrel contract, $3,000. So if you look down here, you have the right to buy with a call. We buy a call because it gives us the right to speculate on the price of an increase in crude oil without taking substantial risk or to hedge our, our uh, obligations again, without taking uh, substantial risk, kind of like insurance. It picks a particular strike price, the $80 strike in the example. It's a bullish strategy. The premium we've established is $3, and the break-even point is $83 per barrel. The maximum risk of loss is $3, and the maximum profit potential is $3,000. I'm sorry. The maximum profit potential is unlimited because crude oil, in theory, can go up as high as possible. One more thing you may want to look at is the time decay. When you buy this option for $3, it has certain amounts of time decay. And as each and every day goes by, the value in, of the option loses a bit of money. So with 30 days to go in the option, it'll lose it slowly. But as we get closer and closer to expiration, and as you're out of the money, it will eventually lose all of its premium. The put, on the other hand, is not an obligation, not, not a, the right to buy, but the right to sell. 
So if we bought the $80 put in crude oil, we'd have the right to deliver crude oil futures contracts at $80 a gallon, a, ba a barrel, sorry, $80 a barrel. So this right to sell the crude oil at $80 a barrel, again, we let's say we have a premium of $3. In this transaction, the break-even point would be $77. It would be the $80 minus the premium you paid. So anywhere below $77, you'd be making money. If we okay. So again, the risk of loss, maximum risk, risk of loss is $3 a barrel or $3,000 in the case of crude oil. And the maximum profit, essentially, is if crude oil were to go to zero, which obviously isn't going to happen. But in any event, dollar for dollar below $77, as crude oil goes down, we make a profit on the long put position. Now, who puts on a put position like this? A long put position is for somebody who is bearish, the market, who wants to speculate on the downside of crude oil, or someone who has to make delivery of uh, crude oil futures because they have it, and they have to they sell it at a certain point in the future, as a hedger might. It's the reverse transaction of a call and it has the same parameters and risk parameters as the call does. This was just basically a simple lesson in purchasing puts and purchasing calls and why we do it. We will have other lessons about various Greeks, spreads, and opportunities to make profits and take the risk of loss in other futures uh, and option strategies. If you have any questions or comments, you can call me at 347-949-4546. Or you can reach me by email, fred.oltarsh, O-L-T-A-R-S-H, at Liebenman.com. I thank you for joining us today, and I hope it was informative for you. Have a good day.